Minister McGimwa, thank you very much for joining us. Um, Tanzania in the past few years has enjoyed a increasing uh, growth of GDP, uh, which is very exciting and we congratulate you for that. My question is, um, as Minister of Finance, how do you anticipate that this increased economic growth um, is going to contribute to the strengthening of institutional structures in health, in education and other sectors? Uh, thank you for uh, that question. I look at uh, the uh, speed at which the GDP uh, of our country is growing as a positive indicator. And a second, as a Minister for Finance, also responsible to make sure that at least the health infrastructure is strengthened. I consider that this is an opportunity whereby the incremental economic growth should be translated as a part and parcel of improving our health sector equally. So there should be a way where we translate the economic benefits in relation to the health benefit as, a, as a, being harvested from the uh, nominal GDP growth rate. Mm -hmm. So this is a function which me as a Minister for Finance, I look critically as an element which is necessary to be translated in terms of health benefit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the developments of the past, I guess, 15 years or so has been uh, an enormous inflow of donor funding uh, for health uh, into various countries, particularly in Africa and particularly the countries most affected by HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also been uh, funding driven by other global agendas like mm -hmm. the MDGs, etc. And so one of the consequences, as I'm sure you know, is that um, there are particular interventions which have been prioritized uh, in health uh, and where funding has been almost, in a sense, uh, concentrated and ring-fenced. Uh, and in some countries, um, this has had a negative effect on the overall delivery platform. Uh, in other words, there hasn't been the parallel investment in strengthening infrastructure or personnel, etc., while at the same time uh, the resources available in the system have been concentrated in particular areas. Is this something that you see as a challenge, uh, managing uh, not only the sustainability of, of donor resources, but also the skewing impact, if you like, of donor resources in providing a comprehensive public health service? <clears throat> okay, then I must also equally say thank you very much for this specific critical question. Yeah, in the past, I must admit, we must have made some mistakes in, in, in making sure that at least prioritization of the, the investable resources are equally translated squarely in making sure that there is additional allocation to the health sector. The whole thing is the kind of e emphasis that we, uh, the government in the past has been putting on, on the in incremental benefit to the health sector. So it is also true that uh, donors have been pumping money to health sectors also in my country, but the whole thing, uh, I can say there are at least three areas where we must now reinforce First, the accountability. <clears throat> Whether the structures for accountability are being strengthened. And I look at this as a critical uh, function which the government, through the Minister for Finance, must have a tracking record. Whether any additional financing to health sector or any other MDGs uh, 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 is really translated itself into value for money. So this should be part and parcel of the accountability functions of the Minister of Finance, translated also in terms of the Minister for Health, equally taking the same role to be responsible in terms of tracking value for money to, to, to evidence additional benefit which is coming from additional or incremental resources which are put in these sectors. So uh, we sh that is one accountability. 
The second is the real quantitative values. <clears throat> as the economy is growing, what is the percentage increase as we set aside towards MDGs as well as, as critically for the health sector? This also must be evidenced. So accountability, the quantitative incremental values, and the third, the integrity. Integrity of the total managers. Look on the, the implementers, that is the health sector, as well as the Ministry for Finance, as well as the managers of the health function. We must find a way on how to put everybody on a track to evidence that at least everyone becomes of a person that the track record can prove. People are looking for the additional value for money for every investable resource right. that has been channeled to this right. sector. Right. So in this case, we will be answerable to the economy, to the people, mm -hmm. where accountability, track checking of the additional values and additional integrity mm -hmm. of all the people from the finance, from the Ministry of, of Health, as well as the total managers mm -hmm. of the, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the process. Mm -hmm. So these are the issues I think they are lying ahead of us. Mm -hmm. And we as the politicians, as well as the leaders of the process, must be responsible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, <coughs> the phrase, the concept of value for money, is yeah. becoming very mm -hmm. much used these days. Yes. Um, and I suspect that different people will take different meanings from it. I mean, obviously, on the one hand, you can think mm. about the more traditional cost-effectiveness mm. implications of value mm. for money. Uh, the other, particularly in health terms, is the uh, greatest benefit for the greatest number of, mm. of people. As Minister of Finance, however, mm. uh, you have to look at it in uh, it, it, sort of as a line down mm. the middle between those two. Uh, so how do you define value for money? <coughs> value for money must be translated in terms of what do we want to see, the kind of deliverables. As we put money in any function or in any activity, does that money at the end of the day prove to us that the objectivity for additional money we put mm is actually giving us what we wanted. So these are the deliverables. Deliverables may be in terms of the quality of service. Second, in terms of the quantity of service. Quality, quantity, and the utility in terms of are people satisfied. Satisfaction may also be above that. Quality, quantity, and the utility translated in the overall satisfaction of the consumers of those services. These must be benchmarked with any additional resource we are putting in. Failure to that, we are not answerable for money we are spending. Value for money is a critical element and which the modern financing must address it. The Minister of Finance, Mr. Absolutely. Mr. Minister, yeah, 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 it's true. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Minister. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, thank you very much.